You know, I, I, I honestly wonder, am I living in the Twilight Zone? I mean, I, I would think that you would have more people on Devin Henney's side, but... For those who don't know, let me give a, br a quick breakdown. Devin, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia fought on April 20th. Ryan Garcia beat Devin Haney on, on uh, by a unanimous decision. Right after that, Ryan Garcia comes out and said the test. Well, the New York State Athletic Commission came out and said he tested positive for eye string and uh, something else. I can't remember at this moment. So on and so forth. It all it comes and Ryan Garcia starts going on this. You know, I didn't lost my mind. I don't know what's going on and. And, you know, the higher ups are out to get me. Well, it all came down to the New York State Athletic Commission and um, VADA as well. Uh, both said he tested positive, but he, he was suspended for a year, right? Now, Ryan Garcia said he, he was retiring and then he went on a racist rant, talked about bringing up George Floyd, uh, bringing him back to life so he could delete him again and uh, ninja this, ninja that with the with the hard R. So, well, Devin Haney, you know, he was... He, He's the victim, right? But people don't care. They hate him that bad. So, you know, Devin Haney, he's been, you know, regrouping, doing his own thing, tells the world he's coming back. Now he's suing Ryan Garcia for um for punitive da damages. Um, his lawyer actually said, uh, quote, Devin Haney is a consummate professional. Ryan Garcia has shown no respect for himself, the business, or the sport. Or my bad, this was from Devin Haney, Bill Haney. Uh, but yeah, but basically, you know, Bill also went, went to say uh, Dev is the face of boxing because he has challenged the franchise in many ways by working with multiple promoters and crossing the sides of the street. He's challenging uh, PED use, all good for the sport. It, it's so funny because people people don't care. You got people on all these different boxing forums, all on uh, Twitter and all these other platforms talking about, you know, it don't matter. We can't unsee it. He lost. He lost. But how did he lose if the person cheated? You would think the fans... You would think the fans would rally behind this because we want a clean sport. But no, they've turned a blind eye. And so much, and you probably wonder why I got uh, Tank Davis up here, and I'm going to get to that as well. But Ryan Garcia went on his racist rant. You ain't hear nothing from Tank Davis. Tank Davis somewhere quiet, hiding under a rock. But when Devin Haney comes out to sue, just like most people uh, that look like Devin Haney, they attack him, making fun of him because he was the one that was cheated. And but yeah, this is the same guy who told Ellie Setback he's thinking about fighting Ryan Garcia, Javante uh, Tank Davis at 140 pounds. Now this is the, this is this is the real issue. Ryan Garcia goes back on a ra racist rant, goes against Floyd, tell, calls somebody the hard R, a brother on a call, and also talks about our queens. Right, this is our queens. You would think that uh, Tank Davis would say something about that. Nothing, nothing. Everything's pointed towards Devin, and people are, are saying, "Why would Devin sue Ryan when Devin's a businessman and companies sue each other all the time?" You know. But honestly, a lot of these 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 uh, if you've ever watched The Wizard of Oz, and I know most of you have, a lot of these primates that's running around, they're like the they're, they're like the um, the lion. You know, he think he's tough, but he has no heart, no heart at all. You know, he's a coward. He's a coward. He's scared. He'll turn on He'll turn on somebody that looks like him. You know, when, when, when a brother... See, a lot of people are jealous of Devin Haney because of his father. They can't stand his father. A lot of y'all didn't grow up with y'all daddies. And you feel some kind of way. Devin Haney has a father who's helped guide him. And he didn't get the traditional, you know, the, the whipping contract. You know, the, the standard... Don King Bob Arum contract. You know the contract that they pull out the suitcase and you sign your rights away. No, you know they 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 got they started their own promotional company. Jumped around promoters. You know he might sign a two fight deal here, or a three fight deal there. You don't see him saying for years, "Oh man, oh, I'm on this side of the street, man. I'm Team L Hemi, man. I'm not. I'll never do nothing on the zone." You know you might see Devin on the zone. You might see Devin on ESPN. You might have seen him on Showtime back in the day, and that's how fighters should do it, you know. But a lot of them, because they're they're ignorant to when it comes to business, they they sign their lights right away and they jealous. And like I said, you jealous because Devin Haney is a is a prodigy. His dad has trained him up since he was little. A lot of people who jealous don't even know who they what they what they daddies even look like for the most part. And you know you see that, and you just can't stand that. You can't stand to see. Uh, a brother manifest life into his son. Devin Haney's already undisputed, but when he was undisputed, a lot of people said, oh, belts don't matter. But now that Tank want to collect belts, now you're talking about, oh, man, he the champ, he the champ. Devin Haney's even fought top, uh, uh, top competition. Who has Tank Davis even fought, you know? And it shouldn't even matter, right? Fine, whatever. Tank want to, you know, he want to keep fighting a certain type of fighter, fine. But how you how do you not see that your brother, you know, and and, and they supposed to be uh they both Muslim brothers was cheated, you know. Devin Haney 
since y'all went around saying me and Devin he ain't never the same okay well Ryan gotta pay for that then you gotta pay for cheating if you tested positive for a banned substance you tested positive and see what y'all don't understand is y'all haven't actually went <laughs> and read what's going on you just going off what Ryan Garcia say but this is the same person that told y'all he was going to get some rehab and go to help and get some help and he's never even done that you know but it's just funny I'm glad I'm glad Ryan Garcia is doing it because it's exposing how much cowardly a lot of uh, uh these primates are and it's just sad you would think you would have thought that desegregation or after segregation ended you would think that we would be even more united but really it's worse you know and and this is just a sneak peek because how how broken up we are online is how broken up we are in our communities you don't own nothing you don't want to own nothing you know um you'll you'll rob somebody with a with, with a necklace on that look like you but if somebody else comes to your neighborhood, you don't do nothing. All the things that happen, all the things that happen to uh, Trayvon Martin and all these other unfortunate young kids, these young brothers and sisters that didn't happen, you ain't do nothing about it. You're not going to do nothing. They know you're not going to do nothing. Ryan Garcia know that there's going to be no backlash because the minute he do, you got the, the these primates coming out. Oh, man, no, man, me really cool, man. He would meet me, no, man. And it's just, it's, it's, it's like, honestly, I almost walked away from talking about boxing because... I, we have never seen this, but we live in a, uh, it's sad. <laughs> it ain't that many of us left. It really ain't that many of us left to stay on cold. But, you know, this this just lets you know wicked we are, even with the whole Diddy thing, right? Hey, if Diddy's did it, Diddy needs to be under the jail. But it's just funny because with Vince McMahon and all these other people, y'all turn another cheek, you know, or if somebody, uh, if a Ray Rice do something, y'all never let it go. But when Dana White do something, y'all come online uh, Stephen A. Smith and immediately defend him and say he ain't perfect, man. I known his brother forever, man. You know he ain't perfect. So it's just, it's just funny that we all held to a to a different standard and that people that look like Devin hate him that much. You you hate him like I, again. This 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 kid was undefeated at what undefeated undisputed at 25 years old. You know while Tank running around with these uh these fake WBA uh, belts. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I'm glad Tank Sue and Ryan. I mean, uh, Devin Sue and Ryan. I hope you know. Hope Ryan got. I hope Ryan pays some millions to Dev, man. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think.